Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in nerddom TV edition for the week of July the 23rd, 2018. This week, it's San Diego Comic-Con just happened, so we've got all kinds of trailers to do reactions to. Uh, that's all we're doing for uh, a teaser. Let's jump into the intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Auvergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On generally nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump into the news, guys, let's jump into this week's sponsor. Again, this week is going to be sponsored by Mercari as well as Poshmark because we are selling all of the things that we are trying to slim down. Uh, collections, mostly clothes. Uh, and I, by mostly, I mean all clothes. But <laughs> check out the links in the description for the Mercari. And you seeing this, the pictures cycling here next to my head. Mercari and Poshmark both are our sponsors this week. Check them out. Buy some stuff. Uh, we're, we, there's definitely some nerdy stuff up there. Just sold the, nin the Ninja Turtles belt. Uh, just uh, it's been selling some some all kinds of stuff. So check it out again over in the links down in the description. And now let's jump into the news. Oh boy. So first on the list is Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, there is a new trailer, link in the description. Again, basically what we're going to be talking about for this episode and the movies episode this week is about 90% new trailers from Comic-Con. Uh, I, I haven't watched a lot of the panels. It's actually been a little harder to find whole panel discussions this year than it has been in years past. So hopefully uh, we can get a little bit of news from that in the days to come and then we can cover it next week. Uh, if you catch something that I missed, definitely let me know in the comments. But first off, we're talking Rise of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I dig this, this, uh, this trailer, man. I feel like... The trailer does a lot to assuage uh, the worries that a lot of the older fans, such as myself, have with the new, with all of the new elements that they're doing. Uh, the the April O'Neil thing is kind of whatever. I feel like the biggest issue with April is changing her age. Though I can kind of understand why you would change her age because the the turtles are supposed to be teenagers. So why is April a grown woman hanging out with? effectively a bunch of kids it, it, it makes sense that you would turn her into a kid as well so i can i can let him get away with that and i don't give a crap about what her ethnicity is she could be black brown yellow whatever as long as her dynamic doesn't change like she's still more the straight man i feel like is is kind of generally her or, uh her role to play she's not a damsel there have been times yes where she was a damsel but by and large she's a fixture she is part of the team she is their 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 uh uh thumb on the pulse if you will so that's uh that i don't feel like they have to get rid or they have to explain away but the other things that that I, they do have to explain away uh, I feel like they kind of cover most of them. First of all, the they cover, at least they show us this in the trailer. I don't know how much time is going to be spent on this, but they talk about the powers. Uh, they, they it, it is something that is introduced to the world. It is not something that they start the world with. Does that make sense? So they kind of have this... It, what it looks like at least is going to happen in the first season is they're going to introduce the turtles pretty close to how we know them now being no powers and their traditional weapons because we do see them with their classic weapons in this trailer as well 
So we've got their classic weapons, we have them without magical powers, and then they introduce those things throughout the course of either the first episode or I would hope the first few episodes. I don't, I, I feel like if they just throw it all in the first episode, then that's not going to work out very well. So we get all of that. The other thing that they don't, that, that, it doesn't feel like they're going to explain that I feel like they need to explain or at least kind of throw some sort of uh, mention about is the power dynamics. It looks like we're getting introduced to the team with the new power dynamics baked in. Um, there they are. Raph is the leader of this version of the team, whereas every other version has been Leo. So I, I, I feel like that's going to be a little source of contention, but from the uh, the bit of this trailer that the, the 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 bits that this trailer has introduced us to, that might not be a horrible thing. Though it kind of feels like they're playing Leo and Mikey a little too similar. But I don't know. That it's just a freaking trailer, so we got to keep on moving. And move we shall right over to Titans, the new live action series that is going to be on the DC Universe streaming app. Got a trailer at San Diego Comic-Con this week as well. Link in the description if you haven't seen it. I'm betting money you probably have for watching this show. Um, but we're going to talk about it anyway because there's a couple of things about it that are like... Uh, all of the hype that they had built up kind of got shot down in this trailer, and it's not even two minutes long. So, or just over two minutes, I can't remember the exact time code, but uh, it's insane. It's, <laughs> what am I talking about? So, we are getting Robin with no Batman. We know this is Dick Grayson because uh, the Flying Graysons are referenced in the trailer. Uh, we knew it from the casting, so this is not news. But his strained relationship with Batman is kind of news. Yes, I know Grayson and Batman, uh, they, they separated for a while, and that's how Grayson becomes Nightwing, right? But I don't know that he's ever... A, it's Batman, so anyone on Batman's team, there's a couple of things that we don't expect. One is foul language like that necessarily unless you're talking about red hood or even batwoman i feel like could get away with something like that but by and large the bat family are boy scouts for a lack of a better term um so that was kind of a stupid thing in the trailer they're obviously they're trying to show that this is going to be gritty and and we're very serious over here in gotham or wherever the show is going to take place i would imagine that part of the trailer takes place in gotham because it is Robin fighting crime, but also in this part of the trailer, uh, Robin kills fools. He straight takes dudes out, and that is a major no-no in the Bat family. Major, major. There's a whole freaking story arc that just got done about this exact issue, and we're just gonna throw it out. And 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 Grayson is one of the one of the ones that's on the side of no, we shouldn't kill. But in this fan fiction world, eh, let's kill dudes. That's whatever. And then you've got Starfire, who granted her comic book character, the comic book version of Starfire is scantily clad, let's say. But I feel like the, I read somewhere in, I think it was on a, in a Facebook uh, group, somebody said, wow, Starfire kind of looks like a streetwalker. And that's probably the best way to describe her costume. It's a little ridiculous. Um, other things, I feel like Raven is a little too weak. Raven is one of the stronger characters on the team, and they're, A, she's a little young, which you can, whatever, that's, again, age can be explained, but I, uh, the, the, the core element of the character still needs to be intact if you're changing superficial things, and no, I, no, she's, she does have issues when we first meet Star, or not Starfire, when we first meet Raven, she does have issues controlling her powers and with the dark side of things, and we know this, and that's kind of an ongoing struggle with the character, but 
that struggle doesn't make her weak. That struggle actually is one of the things that makes her strong, especially once they get done with... Again, I feel like it's the Judas Contract. I should have looked it up before I started filming or whatever. Um, it just... It's... I don't... I, I... All of my excitement about this series really got shut down with this trailer. So that's all we're going to be spending on that trailer. We're going to move over next to the Walking Dead trailer. Oh man, this trailer, this trailer, um, so crazy, uh, it looks like the time, the time jump hasn't changed any of the infighting, we still have, uh, the, the, the core group, I guess, the, or the, the good guys, the non, uh, uh, saviors, are still having issue with the savior element in their in their midst, and so that's a thing. Andrew Lincoln, it, I I apparently there's been a leak, and I I couldn't find what they were talking about when they were talking about the leak, but something about Lincoln's departure has been leaked. Aside from the fact that it's happening, um, I haven't been able to find said information. So if you know where it is, leave me that comment down low. But otherwise, uh, this trailer kind of gives you a little bit of a feeling he's going to go out with a bite. Like he's going to get bitten and not just killed. But, I mean, that it's it's just because he's they show his boots shuffling and he, dripping blood on them. So maybe he's wounded, but it's a, it's a very distinctive shuffle. Not necessarily a wounded shuffle, but very likely a walker shuffle. So... That, I mean, is, we knew it was coming, so we can't get around it. It also seems that there is going to be a very large veer away from the comic books, aside from op the obvious from last season, but they were still relatively in line, in despite the fact that Carl died. But now that Rick's leaving, and very likely Maggie is leaving, or possibly, I guess, there's still no 100% that she's not coming back next season. All they're saying is that she's only going to be in half of the episodes for this season so um just it feels like they're going to be taking bits and pieces from all of the storylines they're skipping over with this time jump and kind of doing a weird amalgamation with this season which is probably a good thing uh so long as it doesn't detract from our main our main story which appears to be something akin to the uh, New World Order that's going on currently in the comics. Because they have this security, they have this size, granted it's not the same size, it's not a full-on city, but it's getting close. So I feel like that is going to be their main focus, and all of these other subplots and side deals are going to either build that up or detract from it, and we won't know until it happens. And then, also, we have some new casting stuff. Uh, the only one that's really of note was Dan Fogler. Fogler? Fogler? Um, he's in the, the Fantastic Beasts movies, and he was in Fanboys and a number of other things. Uh, he's a really funny actor, and I was really surprised to see him, though that's because I had been, you know, out of town for about a week and hadn't been keeping up on my news because it got announced while I was in New Orleans, so that's a really cool addition. I really feel like that subplot with these new additions to the group could be a detractor, but it's it's a it's a necessary evil. I just hope it's not too di too distracting from everything else. And then our last thing that we need to talk about for this trailer is oh the cinematography, Cin the cinematography. I. First day with the new tongue. I'm sorry. Uh, it the so the last little sequence. I can't remember who it is, but you're seeing it on the screen right now. It it's two people who are uh, it, running from something, which we find out just a couple seconds later is a herd of walkers, and they go down the side of the road into a little embankment where there's mud, and they cover themselves in mud, and the walkers walk past. But just the beautiful way this was shot, the push in at the beginning of this little, it's a very, very quick little sequence, but just the push in and then you see them cover and then the camera angle, just 
this show, there's a reason why it's the number one rated drama. Or number one, I, th I think they're still getting number one uh, numbers as well. They're just kind of dropped a little bit, but ah, man, I'm so stoked for the, for the next season of The Walking Dead. Um, but that's where we're stopping for Walking Dead. And following up, we're talking about Clone Wars, also trailer. But the Clone Wars is coming back. The series uh, that is one of the best Star Wars things ever is coming back. It's not coming back to television properly. It's coming to Disney's streaming app. Uh, this was a big surprise. Even if you had been keeping tabs on it, this was when they dropped the trailer everyone kind of freaked out a little bit with good reason because it, it by and large everyone thought it would it had been canceled so you can check that trailer out just like all of the other trailers there's a link down in the description uh super excited we finally get to see the end of the clone war uh so i yeah this is this is probably the best thing that disney could have released following up all of the issues that they had with last jedi so that's where we're stopping with that one. Next on the list is the trailer from Black Lightning. Kind of meh. I the last season was okay. Hopefully, the, this next season will be great uh, to make up for just the. Eh. But I feel like a lot of the DC stuff over on CW kind of is is in a little bit of a slump right now. Maybe not so much uh, Flash. And I guess uh, Supergirl had a pretty solid season, but the rest of it's kind of... I really stopped watching Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow just because it was... I didn't... It, it wasn't holding me anymore, so... <sighs> and, and and I begrudgingly watched the, the last half of the Black Lightning season, so I just... Hopefully, they can kind of course correct. Not that they're really that far off course, because it was only a few episodes on each of them. Our next trailer that we're talking about is another one you need to be super excited about. It's the Young Justice animated uh, season, also coming to DC Universe. And this is how you need to do your DC television stuff. Uh, the animation, yeah, maybe, but like... They just keep everything so well and balanced. Sure, in live action you have certain limitations, but that shouldn't affect your ability to tell a good story. And it looks like Young Justice is going to be one of the saving graces of the DC Universe app. And, you know, Batman, the animated series, because, <laughs> yeah. So, check out Young Justice trailer again down in the description. Our last bit of news is also a trailer from San Diego Comic-Con, and it is the DuckTales trailer. Uh, season 2, they're, they're going up against Magicka. I really thought that Season 1 was going to be a lot longer because it's Disney, and Disney does like traditional length things, but uh, it was like 6 episodes, 8 episodes maybe? And, and I wanted more, and, and so I guess they, they kind of achieved something in that you don't walk away going, yeah, that was a cool thing that I watched, but I don't necessarily care how, how anything else happens in, their, in that series. I, I legitimately was, you know, looking forward to seeing Magicka in the next episode, and then apparently that was the end of the season. So, trailer down in the description for DuckTales Season 2, the reboot of DuckTales Season 2. It's They're calling, I believe they're calling the whole season uh, Magicka, so... It, yeah, this is, if you like silly, goofy cartoons, and who doesn't, then this is right up your alley. But that, guys, is the last bit of news, and that is where we were ending it. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place to go. Do all of the stuff. Uh, nerdy swag, all of the social medias, everything it starts on the website, generallynerdy.net. And if you want to contribute more directly, there is a Patreon, which you can find linked on the website. But if you want to go straight there, patreon.com slash generallynerdy, there's also a link to it down in the description. That is the place you can go support the channel directly. Uh, 
four tiers. The lowest tier is just a dollar. And some people who have Patreons don't give you anything for that lowest tier. They just say, hey, thanks for the dollar. I give you basically twice as much content over on the Patreon if you give me one dollar a month. So check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. If you are new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. We were off last week, so it's two weeks old, but still you can catch up. And before you go do all of the stuff and catch up on the things, guys, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.